Hello everybody, Justin here. I hope you guys are doing well, having a great day or a great night. And before jumping to the chart, don't forget to smash the like button, share with your friends and subscribe as well. And uh, let's do it. So before talking about this chart right here, uh, what we have today, right now, I'm going to show you something that's going to trigger your imagination. So on the left we have XRP on the weekly chart. On the right we have the dollar on the weekly chart. And the thing that I want to show you here it's exactly what is happening, okay? Uh so follow me here uh, follow me here. So let's start from the before the bull run in 2017 when uh, we had two so let's start here from February 2017 and let's go to the all time high. Uh, and now let's go here from the same period to the bottom. Okay, so as you guys can see, we, so who, who is the one in charge here? This is the first thing that we have to look at. XRP trading against US dollar, right? That's the pair XRP against US dollar. That's what we have here, right? So the dollar went down and triggered XRP bull run. Okay, so this is a fact. And uh, in the second round, so let me draw here. So this was the first one. Oh my god, I hate when uh, I have a misclick on my mouse. Okay, so the first one or the first one right here. And then the middle was here, right? That was exactly this bullish behavior on the dollar. And then we had the bottom, which is this guy here. So the inverted correlation is crystal clear here, right? We can see when the boss goes up, XRP goes down. And when uh, the boss goes up, goes down, sorry, XRP goes up. But this, folks, this is not a law. This is not a rule that we can follow with a blind eye. Okay? This is an indicator of the, the other side of XRP pair because it's not only about XRP we have other things outside the chart as well things that most people there never talk about never mention and are the things that moves the market right and now moving forward let's go from the all-time high to today right and so from the bottom to uh, today can you guys see the difference how inverted it is now if I do this it's going to be more clear for you can you see it now let's go back now let's flip this one can you guys see what's happening so folks, uh, uh, just a second. Okay, so this chart is in the standard mode and the, the XRP on the left, it's inverted, okay? If we made the, the standard technical analysis on this chart right here, what we have here, this would be bearish continuation, in other words, Bears in control, relief for the bull side, and bearish continuation. But when it goes back to normal, what we have? We have the bulls in control, right? This is a fact. And uh, the thing here is, folks, I, I, I believe at this point, you guys understand how this works what this is about and what we have here okay so this is no joke this is no um 
you know, random stuff. No, this is a fact. And uh, uh, so let's take a measure here for XRP again. Uh, if I'm not wrong, it's 97% retrace. No, it's not right. Just a second. Okay, so almost 97% retrace. Okay, uh, which is healthy. Believe it or not, this is healthy due to the size of this move up. If we take measure here, just for the sake of this example, is a hundred and thousand, a hundred thousand percent gains. Uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, XRP is the top one gainer since the first day. Okay, even against Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, and it's still young, okay. And is the top gainer for a for a reason that you guys uh, are aware. Uh, and so, folks, this this scenario here for the dollar, I am expecting a move down uh, around this level here. But uh, still. This is speculation because we need more technical evidence for such, okay? Uh, this is based on technical analysis and price projection. And here for the index, it's also a projection. This is not prediction. Prediction is a very different stuff. So, a thing that may happen, may happen, have this in mind. If we are right and the dollar goes down, doesn't matter if we're still trading here a little doesn't matter okay let's talk about only the bigger picture of things if we go down here and if we, we are right xrp can have a strong move up okay so following the same principles that we just talked about right so nothing new here and this folks this move here remember if we are right we are not going to have any double bottom or any new low for the dollar which means the solid the dollar can keep goes uh, going up and don't expect xrp to goes up against the dollar okay if the dollar goes up xrp is probably going down again why when we talk about xrp we are talking about a few billions of dollars right and then when we are talking about the dollar we are we are talking about uh, dozens of trillions of dollars so the big boss here it's the dollar at least for now we don't know how this is going to play out in the future and uh, that's not what we are looking for right now and uh, so just for the sake of this example with a strong move on XRP, let's say to $2, $150, uh, $2.5, doesn't matter. Remember, people will be calling for moon. They won't be looking at fundamentals. This is, all, this is going to be about emotion, feelings, uh, fear, food, FOMO, all the bad things that we know that's not healthy but uh investment or trade perspective okay and uh so this is uh scenarios that we have to watch out and stay very well uh aware of such scenarios okay this is very important things that we have to keep watching for and uh yeah that's the things we have we must do and so now let's go back to the our weekly chart uh, this this setup here it's my uh, my perpetual setup that I talked about uh, something that I was working before and yeah so let's take a look here so uh, by a matter of fact we understand now when we look on the bigger picture especially for the dollar that uh, all those levels yes they work for XRP indeed and we can see here we have proof for for such but the thing is 
the small ones, the ones inside, they are not only about XRP. They are more tied with the dollar than to crypto itself. Okay. So, uh, for example, every time uh, I'm trading uh, XRP since 2017, since uh, July. Okay. And so, a thing that we know and we can see so far, every time we have a strong move up, what people say, it's move. We are going up and we end up with lower high lower high oh we are going to moon lower high and then again we are going to moon now lower high this is it moon this was a swell 2019 lower high then December, the big falling wedge that we're talking about, and we made a, a big, big gains here. Uh, this was a clear, perfect setup for a falling wedge. Uh, first line, second line, third line, and then the big, big bull move. But again, people calling for moon and another lower high. And then we had the same behavior here lower high again and people are already calling for moon so in the in on, on people perspective people who are not aware of the the charts the fundamentals how things works nothing changes okay they still bullish in a bear market in in the other side weak the contrarians we have to be bearish every time they are bullish okay and so let's keep going here let's take a, a quick look so the thing here is folks all these levels as you guys saw in the dollar uh, chart are not only about xrp so for example if we say oh xrp found a strong support here and it's not going up right now no this is not a fact the fact is uh, XRP was going up against the dollar and then they got the dollar starts to go up okay so this is one of the reasons why all these analysis always end up in the wrong way because people are trying to acknowledge the asset that that's not the king in this moment in this moment the dollar is suppressing XRP so for example if, if i look here and say well if xrp goes back here and touch this support we are going to have a strong move because this support is strong it's holding for a long time no this is not going to happen folks this is not going to happen that's not how it works okay so the thing we can do for now is to address each single level and watch out each one of them to see if we can, uh, for example, for the pers uh, investment perspective side, just a moment. Okay. So for the investment perspective side, you can look if you are in the right side of the the, uh, the trend. Okay, because there is a trend. If you are in the wrong side, for example, there is a lot of people now who are buying on FOMO because they don't know what's happening and when they don't know what to do they will just buy and then we can go down because the trend haven't changed at all you can see here and uh, sorry actually when we, we talk about the trend it's like a micro trend okay because in overall in the bigger picture you guys can see the bulls is still in control okay and we still don't have any uh big uh higher low okay so this is bearish activity time for the bears but we know this is not only about xrp it's about the dollar okay so for example when we go here and we measure this scenario right here it's fantastic to close above the 50 yes it is it's bullish yes but again we are still trading in a range 
just a moment let me draw properly here okay so uh for this range moment yeah so when we talk about whoa it's going up oh i'm going to buy i'm going to add it to my bags whatever folks this range is still in control of the bears okay doesn't matter where we place the line because many people will say uh any move just just a second let me properly address this level here so if we make a move like this they will say oh we break bullish from the downtrend and this is it it's boom no it's not it's still a lower high and that's how many many of those uh, uh quote bull breaks happen and we are always ending with lower highs so far okay so watch out always for the bigger picture okay when you open your chart look for the weekly the monthly chart so you can stay ahead in the game so you're still following the trend and not fighting against the trend because that's what most people out there is trying to do uh, so uh, looking for a bullish perspective uh, talking ahead okay because we don't know how the dollar is going to behave a thing that we may expect let me show you here just a moment yeah so uh let me see this range here is for 0 0.2196 okay a thing that we can watch uh, look for now that would be all the way bullish if also we had the follow through in the other side is this a close above 0 0.216 defend this level and then make the way above uh, 0 0.40 if I'm not wrong yes 0 0.40 if we end up with this kind of scenario first move here second strong move here we are going to take out many of the previous highs and this is going to change the perspective on the bigger picture because we are making new highs and higher lows okay so this can be a change something that uh, may reverse the, the bigger picture for XRP and also another way to look at it like this just a moment just for the sake of this example okay so uh, that's the scenario I just made a uh, example uh, lower highs and higher lows and again i'm not saying it is but can be can be if if i'm right about the dollar going down this can be a change in the xrp axis okay and this could be the first higher low compared with the previous one and then we can look for 21 40 and this folks this is not going to be a uh, trend reversal okay but it's going to be the, the beginning of something okay and uh, also it's true I'm not acknowledging uh, regulations utility you know because those things we can't see in the charts okay so I cannot add those uh, info and information uh, into the, the the charts but we know by a matter of fact the charts are uh, print the charts printed the headlines of tomorrow news this is a fact okay how many times we were right about xrp bitcoin ethereum gold uh, the dollar stocks and in the other days we saw 
uh, these headlines in the news okay so when someone say to you the charts are not uh, accurate or correlated or do doesn't show what's going to happen they are wrong okay for example here let's take a look again just a quick look I was talking about this scenario here back in the day if you guys remember my charts I was talking about this this is a falling wedge and this is going to break bullish if we are going to have bullish continuation it's a different business we don't know but the thing is it's amazing to see a strong move up and make great uh, great profits right and that's what we had uh, we made it to the to the golden which is the our range for the bearish behavior played out perfectly and then we end up rejected from the 50 percent and then we went down following the event that we can mention so yes uh, before people were talking about these gains on XRP, XRP 10%, 20%, 50% gains. We knew it weeks and weeks and weeks before. Okay, so uh, watch out for the charts. The charts are your friend. Okay, and uh, yeah. So, guys, uh, I believe this is it for now. I will keep updating uh, everything in the way I can. And uh, soon, I'm going to bring a new chart uh, that's going to be for XRP against the gold. But I'm not going to use the most common uh, gold chart out there. I am going to use uh, a old chart. Something that I already showed, showed for you guys before. And I'm going to show again, but in a video. So I am 100% sure you guys are going to enjoy it. Okay? So thanks for your time. Thanks for your patience. Uh, don't forget to support the channel, okay? Otherwise, it's not worth my time to keep making videos that, uh, you know, people don't engage, don't make comments, don't share, don't like. So, thanks for your support, thanks for your time and your uh, patience as well, sorry. And I will see you guys soon. See ya.